Hello everyone and welcome back to Susa Place, where it is time for more Blood Bowl 2 with our dwarf team in the official World Cup ladder. Now, I have messed this up so many times that I have to check how many games are left. My videos have the wrong number now, at least on my uh, end, and there's a game that wasn't counted, we've had some pre-kick pre of concedes, but it looks like we have played 17 games. Uh, discounting anything that the game had missed and uh, that means that we have three more games to play until the end of this series and then I will be back to the official uh, Cabal Vision open ladder I guess playing uh, everybody who doesn't care if they win or lose It'll be sad, actually. I like this uh, league because people are trying to win. Not that we don't have a bunch of concedes, especially as dwarves, but uh, it's been less than, than normal. So, Willy Water Drinker, our mighty blow pylon blitzer, has leveled up. Let's see what he can roll for. He can get a normal roll, and I think I will pick Tackle, as I mentioned. Good thing to have Tackle on one of our kill pieces. Kill being the best chance of removing an opponent. So if we want to remove opponents, we need to be able to remove the ones that have dodge as well. Without having to worry about wasting our one blitz chance, which is usually all you get against the dodgy teams. Thirsty Thomas though, he will get guard, unless he rolls something wonderful. And he rolls a double, hmm. Okay, well let's think about it. If we don't get guard, what can we get for him? Leader for an extra reroll. We could get Sneaky Git. Allowing him to foul a little bit. Extra. A little bit less chance to be sent off. We could get Sneaky Git and then uh, try to get a dirty player on him as well to have him as a fouling guy. It's a bit too late though. It's unlikely that he'll level up again. Dodge is really good if you you know, pick it together with guard and then you have block, dodge and guard makes him uh, really tough to deal with and then if you get uh, stand firm as well then he's probably the bane of everybody's existence we could get diving tackle just to be annoying for elf opponents seeing how we have four guards at the moment I think a diving tackler could be nice this of course uh, makes the opponent, uh, if, he fa if he makes a dodge, but uh, it's only two away from failing, then uh, we, can, we can choose to use Diving Tackle to make him fail that dodge. And that would, uh, uh, it would leave us uh, on the ground, but uh, of course make our opponent fail his dodge. So he would have to think twice between before trying to dodge away from Thirsty Thomas. So yes, let's uh, let's get the diving tackle. Just because we want some extra skill. At this point our team value is probably going very high. 1610. So I will just pick up another long beard here. Oh no, we have to come up with another name. Right. Uh, hmm. Just a second here. Okay, um, how about... Oh, you can actually do this. I didn't know that. Um, T. Totaler Terence. There we go. And confirm. And we have enough for a wizard in our next game if we want to. Let's see who we play. If we play someone high level, then uh, we will get that. If we get another rookie team, then we will probably spare them. And uh, we don't need to waste any extra money. Our stats say 9, 3, and 5 still, as they did in the beginning of the video. Let's see who we can find as an opponent. And I will break here again until we find somebody. So, uh, see you back soon. 
And it looks like we found some last chance Feyenoord orcs. So let's have a look at our opponent's team. G. Coleman 76. What are your stats? 4 1 0. Oh. Well, that's going to be tough to qualify with. He has. Mighty. Uh, right, the troll has Mighty Blow, of course. Uh, alignment with guard, but also a movement injury. Uh, a wrestle lineman, a dodge blitzer, a guard blitzer, a sure feet goblin, and block on the thrower. Together with three ro re rolls and an apothecary. And four wins. I think we're gonna use, unless we have our home field, which we don't, we're going to use the money on a wizard. Against orcs it can be useful to steal the ball. We don't really have a good ball stealing opportunity. So he's gonna get a wizard as well. Ooh, he has a lot of extra money. He could have well, spent that to get the same amount but in petty cash instead. But I guess that's the same as using it regularly. So with all that cash he could get a star player if he forgoes the wizard, but I think he wants the wizard. I would want the wizard. I even got the wizard. We have two extra linemen, so we should not face the risk of... Uh, being uh, outnumbered. And there's always a risk, of course, but it should be minimized at least. We don't even have a uh, fouling on the menu. He's gonna spend uh, 270k on Ripper. Ripper being a uh, troll, right? We know him. He uh, single handedly, well, not single handedly, he definitely made the last orc player we, go, we played against win against us even though he fell asleep not ripper the player uh, two for two turns he was sleeping and we still couldn't manage to get the ball up the field so two trolls a goblin <laughs> i didn't notice that he has a big chain mail gauntlet before did he ha used to have that He gets to choose. And he starts. Oh, let's say hello, by the way. And he starts an offense, of course. And uh, the. Diving tackle, long bed is not as useful in this game, I would say. Let's put our. I don't necessarily want to exchange a good player for a long beard, just to have a long beard to put on the line. Well, since he's not very useful in this game, let's have him on the line then. And I guess we're gonna have to have one of our guards up there taking the hit from uh, Ripper. Maybe we should force him to hit with Ripper and Gutfart. Gutfart. No, I think this is this is decent. We don't want him there though. Let's put him behind protection. And I kind of like having our fast guys on the sides and our killers in the middle here, where they can reach longer, or where they can reach the line. He has no wizard, we have a wizard. He has a cross carrier, of course. Same here, same amount of rerolls. Ripper does not have stupidity issues. He does have loner though. Both of them can throw a goblin if needed. Ooh, he has three extra players. So we're probably not gonna get any extras that way either. Gonna be a full game. Gonna be tough to score here. 
will come down to uh, probably if one of us gets unlucky and fails a reroll somewhere, it could create an opening. Or it could be Ripper creating that opening. His other troll him is not that dangerous. Neither of them have block. We could take uphill blocks against them. But if we're doing that, we probably our rerolls are gonna end first. Question is, does he put his goblin on the field for this? He hasn't used his guard lineman. And he's not going to. Or nor the goblin. The goblin is not the best against the wolves, I guess. And he can quick snap as well. Meaning he can move up to hit our other guard guys. Which I should really have moved back since I wasn't gonna protect the line anyway. He sort of remained there because I usually put him there when I'm playing against three strength opponents. You want those spots for to prevent assists. Have we, haven't we played against G. Coleman 76 before? I kind of recognize the name. Okay, well, it looks like they're moving that way. See you guys. Long kick. Not too long, though. You can get that. So, a push. Well, if he's taking the hits, he's gonna go back here anyway, so I'm not sure why he why he uh, moved off to the side like that. Ooh, that's his first 1 in 9 reroll. And it turns out it's only a push anyway. Now, what can Ripper do? He's gonna wait for that. He has no reroll left, so there's no real uh, risk in taking loner rolls. But... Uh, well, no more risk in taking any of any other die rolls. Of course, you want to do, make the moves where you don't need to roll first. So we could Dauntless Blitz there. It looks like he's blitzing here. He wants to get our guard guys out. The most He's the most concerned about them. Uh, that's not going to do it, though. Not enough. Pick up with the free reroll. Didn't need that. Now oh, here comes the trolls. That's a knockdown. Uh, yes, that's fine. That's fine. We need to keep someone on Ripper, otherwise he starts blitzing. And double skulls with no reroll left. Okay. That could have gone worse, I admit. Get back up. We have a single die on him. If we put another guard in here, we don't have another guard to move though. We could get two guys on him and get that hit, but I think we need to concern ourselves with him going this way. So I would like to blitz... On nine. The Dauntless, this would be a good hit. However, if it's a push, then we can't really do anything on the second hit. We could do this. Yeah, this, this might work. I'll move him over there to take this hit. That's good. Uh, follow on that. That way we can have a two die on him. But first, I'm going to blitz here, and that would be a 2-die with Dauntless, and then we can push him here to get another 2-die, without needing Dauntless even. Dauntless, knockdown. If it's a knockdown, I will put him... I'll put him there anyway. No armor breaks, so we don't want to pile on. That means we can take this hit.
I'm gonna put him there because if he stands up there, we can uh, we can frenzy. That seems pretty safe. Now, what else can we do? We can bring these guys up. Not like that. Mm. Alright, let's put him on the troll slayer if we have to put him on everybody. That should be a two die. have the numbers on him. Let's put the guy here and take this two die. I'm not really rocking the armor rolls just as we break one. But uh, otherwise pretty successful turn. No real used several orcs on the ground. We have our guard working for us. Ripper, however, is still standing. He can take another hit on our stand firm orc. And he's also next to this troll who will get a chance to stand up without having to worry too much about stupidity. Moves his guard in there. To knock him down. Makes it. Let's <laughs> in on our guard. Pushed away. He follows there. He could serve, he does not follow. Could... I don't think we can surf now. He gets a push on Milk Drinker Mitch. Uses grab? Well, he can't really choose anywhere else to put him. And does he move up? It's not that beneficial, but he does. Right, well, Ripper is being the problem here. I'd love to have this punch. I think we would need to cancel these two guys out first. So I'm gonna stand in there. I can take this hit. Dauntless. Knock down. I would like to follow, but we'll take it. Mm, do not pile on. Now we have one, two, three assists on Ripper. So this would be a single life. I would just blitz him right here. Mighty blow pile on. Could that be any better? I think I'll take this hit. Don't listen to to die. Knock him down. Freeze up these two. Now we can't really get another assist in on Ripper because there's no room. We already have all the assist we can get. I guess we could knock him down and follow and then blitz from back there if we get another guy in there. So let's do that. And I would not uh, say no to Fouling Ripper here if we can get him to fall where he stands. Oh! He managed to wrestle us. Well, that means the hit on Ripper is but a dream now. Yeah! 
I guess we tackle hit this guy. Pile on. Which we did. If it's not a knockout, I will plan on and hope we get something going here. This is no worse than injuring, trying to injure a lesser player, but we didn't get it. Okay, I think I'll stand back here to assist. And then I'll take the negative die on Ripper. Reroll that because we don't want the skull. And we got a skull again. That's a low, low chance it can happen. And it's an injury. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We have to apothecate that. So join the substitutes. Yeah, that's a uh, 11 in 36 twice. So slightly about one in ten of uh, us being knocked down there, where there were quite a few results we could have pushed him back or better. Okay, he's spreading out a bit, doesn't want the fireball to every one of his players here. 50% chance of an armor roll. Actually no, we need to break armor on the fireball as well. I think a fireball is like a mighty blow hit. Ooh, double skull, ripper. This is bad, but he managed to roll through loner. And still didn't get a good result though, he only got a push. Freeze one of his guys up, he's going to blitz with wrestle. Although he failed his going for it. And that's a turnover because he used his real right. Well then. There is an opportunity. To surf here. Stand up. You can have another two die on this guy with Dauntless. I think that would be worth it. Come on now. No armor breaks. We won't use Dawn and a pylon. Now, if I were to single die him to here and not follow, I could then blitz him, single die again. Now we do have three assists on Ripper, so that's a single die. These guys are not the right stuff to get two dies though. I think what I'll do is I will blitz here. Hopefully break armor. Pile on here. Mm, I do, but uh, I would also like to have him standing there to prevent him from going around this side. And it did nothing again. See, my plan was to move this guy here and then take the hit on Ripper. I guess I can still do that. And then uh, after the hit on Ripper, I can move someone out if we can get him down or at least push him back this time. Because this is single die, but this should be a two die. Down he goes. And it's armor break. Wow. He's knocked out. Amazing. Well, that's good. And uh, then we want a guy over here, I'd say. We can get a single die on him. 
I think actually I could go here. That'll allow me to have a two die with Dauntless here. See, God is so useful. That means this is a two die now. Just a push though. So I'll actually stay. And yeah, let's take a single die. We have block. Yeah, there we go. Put him there. That means he has to move someone to uh, to assist him to get up. Unless we break armor. Punch a troll, get a stun. Good day for a dwarf. And we didn't do it without troll slayers. We slayed the trolls with other dwarfs. Okay, he's going through over here, trying a two die, got the knockdown, one reroll left, we are removing orcs, actually we've only removed one, right, yeah, and we've lost our own uh, reroll, so, uh, uh, our own apothecary I'd say, we have two rerolls still. So he's going for going for passing us on the side. One go for it is okay. Second go for it will require a reroll. Oh, double failure! That hurts. He was gonna put the ball carrier down here. Sure. Now, of course, we have almost open road towards the ball carrier. This guy can hit him, but uh, we want to get someone else onto there. So first we would have to deal with him. And also we want to deal with uh, these guys. So let's stand over here. Stand you up. Stand you up. What do we want to hit here? No, we want to blitz the ball, so just stand up, please. This would be a 2 die with Dauntless, but at this point do I really want to risk it? I don't think so. I will move up here and then take a 2 die without Dauntless. And I still got Dauntless, and it's good enough. Can we break his armor? No. Okay, do not use. <laughs> right, I, I stupidly stopped myself from going through. <coughs> And if I don't lose him, or if I hit him, if I go here, I'm gonna stop myself again. Yeah, we're not, yeah. Alright, stop blocking yourself. Maybe we can get through here. This needs to be a knockdown on the first. Second will only be a single. Okay. Good enough. Put him there. Now you can get through and assist. Where do we put this guy? We could blitz somebody. We blitz down here. Could go down and mark this guy, perhaps. I think I'll do that just in case. Also, keep him from going too far. Now, two die. There's our blitz, of course. Shouldn't have considered blitzing anywhere else. Knock him to here. Follow. Would be nice to knock him out. Take the ball. And move away or move back. I think we go here. He only has. He'd have to go for it twice to hit us, and he has no more rerolls. And he'd have to dodge out, so. Yes, this looks very good for us. Double one on the go for it. Created this. Troll's still alone, so he went stupid, couldn't stand up. There's a 50% chance of that happening. The best of them are standing up. Probably not him though. He has a, this guy to hit. No, that would be a single. Actually, it would be a negative unless he stands up here first. 
all our guards are doing their work. So here's the dodge into the oh hoo -hoo. diving tackle. I uh, almost planned that, but I must admit that I didn't know it was the diving tackle guy who stood there. Uh, right, so well, we don't want to score just yet, do we? No. So you can go there. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. He can only reach us. This guy could potentially be a tr problem. So let's uh, keep our diving tackler there. He's doing a good job. A good job. Uh, and then I want to dauntless him. I kind of want to get someone up there. If I do this and it works. Ooh, we failed Dauntless. Skip the reroll. I feel I'm feeling lucky. And I was. Very lucky this time. So that's gonna have to be a pylon if it's not a knockout. It is a knockout. Do not use. He has no uh, bloodwiser babes. Or does he? Uh he does. I don't think he does. Cancel him. I think if I get to choose, I would hit this blitzer. This way, please. Now, uh, he's in a bit of a spot, but uh, that'll be fine, I guess. I could hit here to get... Yeah, that'll work. I should have a 3 die here. Uh, 2 die. Okay, this is greedy, but I don't think we'll be using both our rerolls. And it didn't really work for us. So we're gonna have to take this hit. There we are. This is also greedy, but any time we can knock an orc down. And I'll just tie him up, I suppose. No, I'm not feeling that lucky. Let's have him roll that die. He has no one who can reach us. Only gets a push on his two die. can stand up here to get another two die. Oh, the troll is cooperating. Troll only has four moves? Yeah, right, he does. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, our troll on the wild animals. The only... the orc team I've played the most, like 70 games on. And he got movement, I think, early on. Unless I'm remembering it wrong, it's been a while. So he managed to knock out Milk Drinker Mitch. That's so rude. That means he can also chase us down. So we will probably have to try and score. Because we don't want him to get a shot at us, of course. Even if it's only a single die and he has no rerolls, it can still work. Now, having a... Shot at. Ooh, ooh, it's even giving us a serve option. Oh, he fell to that dodge. Well, now I have to, right? There's no way I can't not go for the serve here. A blitzer. Injury roll on a blitzer could be very helpful for us. One, two, three, four, five. Could I then get this hit as well? That'd be a single die. Yeah, I could move him in there and get another mighty low hit. I'm gonna have to do this. We have a reroll. There we are. No result. 
And then we have this. Mighty hits on an orc. Fine. I won't re-roll it. I will take another chance at it though. Although now the armor break is unlikely. And no, no, no. No, 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 no. Just score. He has two turns to score on us now. With no rerolls. Seems tough, but it is doable. Any knocked out players get a chance to come back. Oh, uh, not you. You fur. At least we got our guy back. And the... The... Uh, Black Rock stayed out for now. So he gets another shot at this. Maybe this time I will be a little bit more sensible and not keep those guys up there. Uh, diving Tackle guy actually made himself useful. But I still think we put him on the line. Actually, maybe not. In this short drive I will, I will bring our most important players off the pitch. Mighty Blow guy is not one of our most important players though. I still want these two in the field. They can do something here. But uh, Mighty Blow Guard can uh, take a rest. As long as I remember to put him back onto the second half. Which I hope I will. Well, I doubt we'll be lucky enough to get Ripper off the pitch again. Maybe with a foul, but uh, getting him down is a task, an arduous task, and uh, getting him injured is even worse. And then he regenerates. We gain a turn. Okay, so we have three turns. Can I have my uh, stand firm guard guy back, please? Double skull with the troll. No rerolls. Well. Wrong side for our movement blitzer, but uh, our movement guy. We can't really get to the ball. So what do we do? Well, we have three turns. We should at least try to hit somebody with Might Blow. This Black Oak is a good target for that. So let's put you there. You're cancelled. Gonna have two assists on this. Go for it. If Dauntless works, we get uh, two dice. We get him down. No armor break. Fine, do not use. Uh, kinda want to go up here just to threaten the ball. Can we get to Ripper somehow? We would probably need to knock this guy down. We can do so. Right this moment. Or push him away, that works. Kind of. Then we need another assist. I'd like to push this guy away. Maybe if I follow, if I can push him away and if, if I can get the two die. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna bring him up just for ball stealing purposes. A little bit too aggressive, maybe. Put a Dauntless over here. Now I have a 2 die on him. If we foul, we'll have to do it with Willy Water Drinker. That's not something I feel like. Hey. 
Oh, there's a goblin behind here? I was not informed of this. That means we don't have the necessary assists. Could have a single die on him though. Might be worth it. Skull. We rolled into. Hey! You always want to roll hay. Alright, well that's everybody. He's not gonna be able... Well, he could still throw the goblin. That was his plan, of course, throwing the goblin. I just forgot about the goblin and then I didn't see the goblin behind Ripper. He could stand Ripper up and throw him from there. Maybe he can chain push off the dwarves to make the handoff easier. We have Diving Tackle on the Goblin, but he's gonna be thrown away from there. But he's, uh, yeah, he's standing right, so he could get the ball up to the Goblin, hand off. Four, five, he'd have to do a go for it. Hand off to the Goblin, we've seen three tackle cells, that's gonna be too tough. He's gonna have to do something about this. Ooh, rolling really stupid on Gut Fart. That's not going to uh, make his day better. Ripper's up, but if he doesn't move the goblin, I will definitely hit the goblin. Because the goblin is the only one technically in scoring range. Single die works. I guess at this point he can move down here with this guy. And perhaps getting scoring range. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He'd need to go for it at least once this turn. Picks the ball up. Pass it to the guy. Works. I would probably not have passed. I would have ran down here into scoring range, but I would not have passed so I could decide next time if I wanted to hand it off to the goblin for a goblin throw touchdown or if I just wanted to. Uh, Ooh, that didn't work. Okay, what do we have? One go for it. Into single dice. Dodge to assist. Oh, he, he can actually reach easier than I thought. Did he do two going for it? Maybe he did. I think I want the assist for this. 67% dodge, we have a reroll. <laughs> Didn't need the reroll. That means we have a reroll for the go for it. Or for the hit. Didn't need either. Follow for the pylon. There's no reason to not pylon at this point. Only one turn left. Stun. Ball's free, he has no one in scoring position though. The goblin is down, he can't really do anything. So what we want to do is probably stomp on one of his players. The troll is a good target, although we can't really get there. I'm gonna go here, then we have a single die. Oh right, we have this as well. Yeah, that's, that's definitely worth taking. We have two chances at it. Another definite pylon. No point in not piling on. It's turn 8. Okay. Didn't do much though. 
Now he has a he has a actually it's only turn seven. So I guess we should move this guy into scoring range. Afterthought. Best thought. Afterthought. Uh, we could hit him. Single die though. I think I'll take this single die first. Nice. Although I would did want to follow. It's not the best. And go for that one. Still bad. 28% and not, not, not good. That's not good. This is actually better. Again with the skull. Into injury. Just a stun this time. Okay, well he's gonna have to deal with this guy. He has the guys to do it with. More of a gamble play, really. Well, that's not going to knock him out, at least. So I guess we still have the option. Is he going to foul? Does he have anyone to foul with? Another guy on him. That's not going to help, really. It would help if we tried to toss it to him. However... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you were to miracle dodge out of this into the end zone, the pass here would be equally mir miraculous. Unless we uh, hand it off to him, and run up to here, and make a two agility pass instead. Lovely options, right? Maybe we just stomp on his troll. If we can stomp, or even uh, if we can hit, well, we can't really. I'll go here, blitz him off. We might get injured on the move here. Oh, we have no rerolls, so there we go. Hand off and then dodge out. I think at this point we'd rather make the pass. First, take this two die though. I'm not gonna try to hit Ripper again, I've had enough of that. I would love to make this hit. With Hair of the Dog. For a Mighty Blow Pylon. But. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? I've used my Blitz action. So there you have it. Well, our armor held, so that's good. That's the first half then. Let's see if this last black orb wakes up. Yep. So full teams all around. And I will remember to use my right guys. Don't have to do anything, they are already on the field. I might want this guy on the field now though. Which means, well, we don't have to worry about not having enough on the line, because we're actually hitting this time. Wow. Gonna go for my itchy fireball th finger, aren't you? Probably not want, don't want the goblin here. Six people to hit with a fireball. We are one nothing up. I should really not use the fireball for this. But if we can remove a couple of players, or even knock a couple of players down, 
I mean, right here. Guard guy, goblin, two trolls. Well, the trolls are probably not getting hurt, but still. He's probably trying to bait out the fireball, isn't he? Uh, right, uh, anyway, who do we remove? We remove you or you. You go back. You are also back. He has no tackler, so putting the ball on this guy is not the worst. Uh, mighty blow here, I'd say. Guard guy here. Dauntless hit. We can take it there. Yeah, we're probably in the right spot here. Maybe like this. And we'll see what we can do. Protect against the Blitz and we are good to go. I think I'll use the Fireball here. Extra reroll for them. Most far back though. Hit the goblin. Stun. Knock down two. Three resists. Not the best. But uh, something at least. Push. That's too bad. Just push him away at this point. Uh, well, I don't want to foul now. This should be a good chance though. Don't bless. Push, still to die. Double skulls. Double push. It means we can't follow up. And we will be hit next turn. There, we got him. Wonderful. Could try and foul, but at this point it's probably not worth it. I am going to put it on him. Let's uh, block off out here first, though. You're gonna pick the ball up. You're gonna stay here. Sure hands. Sure enough. Twenty-eight percent. Don't do it, man. It's not worth it. Okay. Well, that was a poor start. I wish I hadn't been greedy with the fireball. But uh, a great fireball there, and we'd have won the game probably. He actually got a 2 die, right? Of course he did. Stupid. He gets a hit there. Break. Knockout. Can't reroll it. We would have used our apothecary. Things are going bad. We've lost the reroll, he still has four. Let's just that guy off. Ooh, double skull. 
disregard, he has three. But he did, does get the knockdown. N -n 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 knockdown. Now his dodge guy can... Could have moved through and threatened the ball. Actually, that would exactly what it's going to do. It was the blitzer that moves. Ripper. Tying up three dwarfs. Could try for Dauntless on Ripper. That's only a 50% set, though. And if we get it, it's only a single die. Push. Okay, well, we need to get back on this right quick. We can have a two die there. But you're gonna have to. Unfortunately, fight off some dwarves on your own. This would be a single die. Because no one's marking the troll. Not the worst single die in the history, but... Bad enough. This, however, is a two die. I think that's our plan. But first, I want to move... War carrier to somewhere around here. Six and then this guy to here. Right. I'll free this guy up. I don't want our guard guy to be back there. Follow. He's gonna have a two die on us if we don't pile on. But I don't think we can right now. That would mean a single die on him, but if I go back here... I can have this hit. Dauntless. That's good. That means I can bring... You're not in Tiger Souls anymore. I can bring this guy in somewhere. Probably here, just so he can't knock him down and go around us. This should be safe thanks to him. To die? Maybe that was my blitz opportunity. Probably should have blitzed there. Negative die, double negative on Ripper. Come on, we should get one of these. Another skull, that's four times in a row. There we go, finally. Four times in a row on an 11 in 36. Just counting the red dice on, dip on uh, Ripper. Ripper goes back in, at least he couldn't hit us. Gets the knockdown. Three to move. Three to move the goblin. It's a single die, since he would be assisting if he did that exact move. Ties the guys on the left up. Middle is looking in his favor because he has two trolls there. Ties up one of our runners. Just a push on our blitzer, that's that's helpful. He's now gonna at least impede his progress so he can't face the cage from both sides. Goblin is up. Gotta be wary of his movement. He has an assist. Has he blitzed yet? He has not blitzed yet. So he's going to blitz our mighty blow pylon. 
and gets it. And he gets to do exactly what I suggested he should. Troll hit, only a push. Well, if he follows that, we could probably hit him back. Single die, unless we get Dauntless, then it's uh, two die. Does that help us in any way, though? I don't think it does. We would still not have a hit on either of these. Other than a single die. Not even a single die. It would be negative dice. Single here. Could run up here and assist, but we would not be able to check the ball up there. Could run over here, I suppose. Take a two die on him. I think this is the safest place for the ball to go right now. I would love to not follow here so I could have a guard behind him, but I need to push this guy off. And I need to assist for that. So that's not bad. Now... If I could do this, it would be awesome. Where do we blitz, though? Maybe we blitz with him? Get a chance at the push? I could still get to there, even if we don't get the push. That's perfect. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, now I can stand here. Maybe I want to stand here. Because then I could hand off and be cheeky about it. Dauntless on the troll. Take him down. Try to dodge here, maybe? Hey. Set my sights on the goblin. Uh, these two is gonna have to stay. You can take a single die, maybe. Because you're the best, apparently. I mean, I can take uphill dice on these, but I don't think I want to risk it with only one reroll left. We just need to hold on to the ball here. He can do this, but he can't follow because we could stand firm. He could uh, knock this guy down. No, he can't because we knocked the down. He could bring the goblin over. These guys would have to dodge to blitz the ball carrier. Could knock this guy down, bring the goblin over. I guess he would need to dodge to hit from there, so he's not going to do that. He can't get this guy out, unless he brings a guy down here, chain pushes him into him. If he's knocked down then, then this guy would be free. After he knocks him down, he could then go in and hit the ball carrier. But he didn't choose that, he chose to push there instead. I don't think he saw the chain push option. It would have been pretty fine if that was a knockdown, and it was. I'm gonna stand firm so he can't step up on the ball carrier. And now he's probably looking at... Well, he's gonna stand these two up. That means we have the ball carrier free. Can the ball carrier outrun these two? I'm not sure. Can we get someone up to assist and stop 
stop him from... Oh, okay, he can go that way. Right. And the goblin, of course. Okay, no, so we're not going to be able to run straight forward with Borg here. Unless we get something else to happen. So he is going to blitz us with a single die. Two go for it, made both, but rolled a skull, re-rolled into push. Okay. We need some guard over there. Ooh, that's bad. Ripper goes down. Bonus. So... You stand up. That means we have a two die on this guy. From anywhere. I think we have it to take, to take it with him. That's not what I wanted to see. But at least that means we have a two die on this guy. That's what I want to see. I was a bit lucky because he has dodge. We will die here. Uh, we're gonna lose the ball over here if we don't do anything quickly. I'm gonna bring this guy back. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I could try it. But that guy is probably gonna get dodge, get to dodge out. I moved over here with him. I think I'm pretty okay. One go for it. Alright, and now we need the Dauntless to work. Last three roll on Dauntless. No. Let's hope for the double negative die. Oof. That's better. Ooh, no more rerolls. This is gonna be a tough half. Can we get a... No, we can't get a in there. Good surface now. It would be nice to have him down. Both trolls back up. Not blitzing there. Too much guard on him. Oops. Go for it. Unluckily failed. Now he has a two die. Not gonna take the two die though, he takes another roll instead. Let's see, he hit from there. So don't use it. Still has another hit, but... And he freed his goblin up. I guess we should have uh, stayed there to stop his goblin from moving. He gets it. Um, stand firm this time. Don't want him to go into assist here. Oh, he's not going to, to do that. He's going to try to dodge and fail. All right. Could dauntless him. Have these two free to move. Put a cage up here. What cage? I have two guys. 
I think I'd rather move over here and then hit him. Maybe I should have done this first. Need to Dauntless, need to knock down. Also need this to be good. Ooh, it's not. She should be standing. We just run backwards. If we were to blitz here. Get a knockdown, follow. We could get a single die on him, and perhaps put the ball back here. It's not the best idea, but it's an idea. Not getting the dice we need now. Ouch, where do you go? I think we back off a bit. A lot, maybe. Single dice over here. We have to make some progress somewhere. This is a negative. Best it will be a push. There is a push. At least that prevents us from being surfed. Do I try for this as well? If he gets knocked down, then Ripper can just blitz us. Ripper can probably still just blitz us. We need to knock Ripper down. Or at least push him back. Skull again. Well, we are in a rough spot. Wish I had a wizard I could use to knock down somebody. Really an uphill battle this half. Works are just the worst matchup for dwarves. Especially when they get a 6 strength troll for free. Uh, 2 go for it. He has no uh, tackle, that's something. He can bring the goblin up to assist to get a triple die though. Didn't do that. Go for it, good, go for it, good. Hit is just a push. Loner, no reroll for you. No rerolls left either. Good times. Now this is the time where you would like this guy to go uh, stupidity. Or fall here. Oh, he didn't fall. Uh, of course he won't go stupid if he has a guy next to him. That's good enough though. I'll we'll take that turn over. So what can I do? Is there anything? Dodge and uh, sprint to here. That's not a sprint. For a dwarf it's a sprint, but for anyone else it would be pretty terrible. I think I'm gonna free up our other runner here. He might be able to do something to help us. Like... Marking the goblin. If I drop the ball here, it's probably game over because this goblin can pick it up. Not ga game over, but uh, a tie. This pass, no. I think we need to.
get this guy back here. And then we need to mark we need to mark Ripper somehow. I could try to to dauntless single die this uh, troll. And then this guy could not do anything at all. That's not a good idea then. Let's instead dauntless this guy. Get him away from the troll. Dauntless again. Ah, bad pushes. Needed him down. I was planning to free this guy up. Now we don't have that plan anymore. And this push would not free him up. Although it does put the orcs on the ground. That's always good. <laughs> Putting orcs, orcs stunned is even better. I think we have to do that dodge though. Can't stand next to Ripper. So, since we're not gonna have anything better, I'm going to have to. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I go down here, at least Ripper can't quite reach us, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. He'd have to do go for it. And he has no more rerolls, so at least that's something. Continue with the bashing, please. Another chance. Actually, let's do this. Single die, if we can get a push, then we can, at the very least, get this guy free. And he could actually almost get down there to help. Yeah, that will stop the Ripper from going that way. So, <laughs> three more turns for him, two more turns for us. If we can keep the ball away from him that long, we will uh, win. Not in a very glorious manner, but at least we will win. So he's blitzing uh, our runner, the one without dodge, where well, he would have needed dodge. And now he has to go for it. He's gonna go for it to tie up him, okay. Goblin. Goblin's gonna mark. And this guy. Six, seven, and uh, six. He's gonna mark him probably. He's gonna force us to dodge. And if we fail the dodge, it's all over. Stupid, not stupid troll. Hmm. That seems risky. And needless. Oh, maybe not. Well, we have dodge, and he doesn't have tackle. So it's not the worst. But he hasn't really. We don't have really uh, many places to go. At least we have a uh, ripper tied up. He's not dodging out any time. Made that. He's already made his blitz, so okay, so he was just trying to dodge there. Ooh, we managed to dodge even though we had tackle on him. Well, he has a two die here since he survived everything else. He's gonna take the one die first. Push. Nope, take this. Strange. Um, he didn't move the troll because the troll would have been uh, at risk of stupidity. I'm gonna have to do that dodge. Now he could easily get get us here. Knock this guy down with Ripper. Move in here, hit us. At least that leaves him only 
Oh, he could probably pick it up as well. Miss. It's a knockdown. If I get him on a single die, I could go down there and blitz him to here, at least make him dodge this guy. Yes. One, two, three, four. It's a go for it. Still have to do it, I think. Could have been worse. Could have failed the dodge. So Ripper knocks him down. Oh, he doesn't even have to. Ooh, but if he goes there, then he can't hit. So he needs to go here first and then hit. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, he can hit. Everything's good. But he has no tackle and no rerolls. So it is, well, it's still a uh, 55% chance to knock us down, I believe. Is he gonna gamble by trying to get the ball out? Ooh, he rolled exactly what he needed. But yeah, we, we used the wrong, the wrong guy for the wrong thing. Right? Well, at least attack the zone on the ball. If he had caught it, it would have been wonderful. Go for it. Dangerous. If he had slipped there, he wouldn't have had a chance to pick the ball up. And we could have taken it. I'm, I'm sure he will try to pick the ball up with the goblin and score here, right? He's hitting with Ripper instead. And now... 50% pickup. 67% dodge. One in three to get it. And he fails. Well. I don't think we have anyone who can assist. Sadly. One die blitz on the goblin. To get here. Then he blitzes us off and picks it up with the goblin anyway. But if we manage to knock the goblin down and it's an arm break, then he picks it up with one of these guys instead and scores. So he has a 2 in 3 chance to tie this game up right now. Probably. Unless we can take it and maybe toss it <laughs> over here. The potato defense. Let's uh, see, how far could we get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to here. If we put him right about here we should be able to pass it to him and at least get it to land next to him I'm gonna stand these two up I'm gonna stand one of them up maybe we can dodge him out to protect wherever the ball if he can manage to catch the ball we can protect it and uh, nothing else I want to do really so let's go with this just a push push him away from the ball then Dodge, take the ball. If the goblin intercepts, this is terrible. If anyone intercepts, it's terrible. How do we do it then? Do we go up here and toss it off the field? To hopefully have him have to make a lot of relays? We can't pass it when we've, we've done this. I forget. Forgot. Forgot. 
Just run as far up as possible. And I guess drop it myself. Okay, so his play is to pick it up and hand off. Pick up and hand off, I think he needs to do. Maybe a short pass even. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, go for it. Pick up, go for it, hand off. Or pick up, hand off to that guy. He made the pick up. He makes the handoff. <sighs> All that fighting for nothing. And all because I used the wizard early on, I think. If I had the wizard left, he would uh, not, never have been able to challenge us. Or at least we could have, uh, as soon as he, it was a dangerous position, we should have used the wizard. Not try to use it right away, even if there's six targets. Right. Never again, hopefully. We lost some fan factor, so good work there. Gained a level on not to drop Danny. He could be useful if we can get something on him, maybe like what? Catch? I have no idea. 11 armor break versus 5. Two knockouts, he had two knockouts and an injury. Even though we took twice as many blocks as him. And it was probably pretty unlucky that we didn't get a bit more on 75 blocks. Even though he has high armor, still, that's pretty poor. Just a touchdown, no injuries of course. He had a pass and touchdown and MVP. Oh well, with team value this high you can't really expect to win. Uh, not to drop Danny will level up next turn, next time, next game. And uh, we're still one game off half victories, so I have to win one of the two last ones. Actually, I would really have to win the next one, because we actually have one more loss. It wasn't counted. I don't think it was ever counted. So, uh, if I don't win the next one, I've failed to get 10 wins at Dwarves. And I've gotten worse and worse as uh, the season have gone on. If you just look at my records and not on the level of opposition I've met. But, let's see what happens in the next game. Thank you very much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you back soon.